I hate ice. We begin today by traveling on the old Pike Road. I like this route, it's pretty scenic. It's very historic too. In the 1800s, it was used to transport mainly agricultural products to Kansas City from the northern counties of Clay and Platt County in Missouri. It travels south through the western part of Clay County and it ends up in an old village named Harlem, which is where the ferry crossing was. People would pay to travel on this route, hence the term Old Pike or Turnpike. And people also used to have to pay to get across the river on the ferry. Back then there was only one way of getting across the river without a boat, and that was by train on the Hannibal Bridge. It was replaced by the Jefferson Highway, and then eventually by US 169. So, no ice yet. Hasn't started precipitating yet, but I'm doing some preparations. All those cans are dog food. To the puppies back there. Right, pups? You're so excited. Oh, we're so excited. Love cold weather. Means it's hard to do anything. Yeah, I much prefer more warm weather, especially when faced with uh, this. But you know, it's an adventure. So, uh, yeah, I got those uh, propane bottles down here. That's for the um, buddy heater. And uh, not a whole lot showing up on the gaydar. So, and then tomorrow is an O dark thirty shift. So. Uh, <laughs> effects are being felt. This is a outburst, a little theater place. That's too bad. I'm gonna go over here and have some coffee while I still can. Coffee. It's uh, 7 o'clock and uh, I can see something coming towards us from the southwest. Let's see if that plays there. Hold it straight there. There we go. Arr, arr, arr. Close up. Anyway, um, you know, weather. I think the worst thing you can do is allow 
the news media to play Chicken Little with you. And by that, I mean, you know, you, you listen to various sources of information, the official sources, the weathercasters, you know, people like that. But don't. You know, sometimes the media goes out of their way to, you know, they get their reporters to go out and go find some bad news and hype it up so that we can get people watching us. Because, you know, the one thing that's guaranteed to get people to watch the news is bad news. And, you know, stuff like this place right here that, that, um, that held off on their grand opening, they're going to feel bad about that because they could have got it in and done by the time the weather came. And really, the weather is not supposed to even really get bad until tomorrow. I mean, you know, there's, you know, there's being cautious. You can't let your life just be totally rearranged by hype. And that's what it, it turns out to be a lot of times, is hype. You know? The, 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 the thing, if you listen to the actual people who know, the experts, they are pretty good at telling you when it's going to happen, where it's going to be, and how bad it's going to be. And, um... Yeah, so, I see this all the time. You know, you just get into good habits, you try and prepare as best you can for, for whatever is going to happen, and then hopefully if you're prepared, it goes past and you do alright. If you're not all that prepared, then, you know, when you survive it, you know what better to have next time it happens. Now, I know in the Kansas City we had a real bad ice storm in 2002, and there were people who were out for like three weeks electricity and heat and, and things like that but you know you learn from that you move on going into panic mode is not healthy and it's not good and uh, and it doesn't help it actually makes things worse and it's very irresponsible when people try to take advantage of that so that they could get more whatever viewers or listeners or readers you know it's just we have to know how it is what to do and then how to how to get past it that's all we need we don't need all this bull crap but maybe by Sunday I might change my tune who knows we'll see we'll see so life goes on, I'm here to go into an art opening and so far no weather, so when weather comes, I'll be ready for it. Amor, amor, ta 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 